this material that has been patented is fluoride doped hydroxyl calcium phosphate. It's basically um, a mix of components make, placed together, different type of calcium phosphates that they react together. And we have doubled this calcium phosphate with fluoride. It's some couple of types of calcium fluoride salts and with alkaline substance, which is basically calcium hydroxide. All these components together, when they react with water, when they are in contact with saliva or any body fluid, or even with, with PBS or normal water, they basically react together and this material precipitate immediately in form of crystals of apatite-like substance. Apatite or hydroxyapatite is the, the main component of teeth and bone and many other mineralized tissue in the human body. This hydroxyapatite over time in contact with saliva or any other body fluid and with the fluoride contained inside the, this material, it has been patented, it converts little by little into fluorapatite. So the reason why we want to have fluorapatite in dentistry, and this is the main application of this patent, is because fluorapatite is much more resistant to acid attack compared to classic calcium phosphate or any other calcium salt or the conventional hydroxapatite. The idea is to obtain a remineralization with a substance that is more resistant to acid attack. So basically it can be resistant to, to caries or to erosion. The patent is about the method we produce this mix of components and the method it react to obtain first apatite and then fluorapatite. This material can be directly applied on the teeth. So for example, in order to make teeth stronger and resistant to, to caries lesions, so it can be converted in, or introduced in toothpaste, gels, uh, chewing gum, uh, any other preventive substance. The second application of this material is to incorporate this filler in dental material, in restorative material. So composite, adhesive, cement. So basically the dentist and clinical operator, they can use this new future material for restoration, for, you know, restore the teeth, caries, or for cementation, for clinical application, for dentist. The main benefit that we are still proving is to prove and prove and prove again that wherever we place this filler, we will be able to remineralize and reinforce the structure of the of the tissue like enamel and dentin.